Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be covering more stuff about Hodoku, how to use it, how to um, leverage it to have fun with Sudoku. There's so many different techniques out there. Uh, and that's another thing I want to say, don't be intimidated by all the different technique names, you know, skyscraper, turbot fish, uh, alternate inference chains, all these different things. Don't be intimidated by those names. Essentially, all you're doing is you're looking for patterns. You're looking for um, just things that stand out that over time, you're, you're going to get more and more familiar with these things and you'll be able to spot them much more quickly. It just takes time. You just got to keep diving in and practicing and learning and you will definitely grow and with that let's uh let's go ahead and jump in here so one thing i wanted to show that i didn't show last time is um when you're in hodoku if you're in playing mode whatever you select for your difficulty is going to be what the puzzle difficulty is when you click start with a new game but if you're in learning mode which i'm going to go back to practicing and learning wings so i'm going to select that and watch when I hit this new puzzle button. No, actually it didn't it didn't do what I was expecting, but here, look it. If I try and click easy, it's going to take me to hard. If I go to medium, it's gonna take me to hard because what I'm what I'm trying to learn right now based on these wings is the puzzles are gonna be beyond easy or medium where those exist. So <clears throat> You'll notice, you know, that that changes and you can't set it any lower unless you go back and practice a uh, simpler technique. So like if I go back and I say, let's turn off wings, let's just do, um, we'll do singles and let's, let's do subsets. Let's say okay to that. Now let's see if I select easy. Okay, easy does not select and medium doesn't select. So that's interesting. I, I would have expected at least C easy. So let's go back and let's um, let's turn off subsets. Let's just leave it on singles. Let's see if that changes. Yeah, there we go. Now you can see it's it's changed it up where I can start an actual game on easy mode. <clears throat> so let's go let's go back on learning. We could start with some simple things like uh, let's do. X wings, we'll do all subsets, all intersections. Uh, I'm not going to do any chains or loops. Let's do bug plus one and uniqueness test one and four. And let's do skyscraper, two string kite, and turbot fish. And let's do all three wings. Let's go with that. That's a pretty solid assortment of things so all right so let's go ahead and start a new puzzle <coughs> and let's just blast through one once you can see like how using Hodoku can make things so much nicer so I'm seeing things already in this puzzle like one here is there's a naked single two so I'm gonna click that um, I'm noticing in this top row this is the only spot where an eight exists so I'm gonna make that an eight if I look at row four here, I can see a four, five, four, five, nine, four, five, nine. So I know that these three cells cannot be a four, five, or nine. Now that I see a three, seven, three, seven, I know this has to be a two. And column here, one, six, one, six, nine, six, nine. So this is a seven. This column, this is the only spot a seven can exist. Now we can go jump in with filtering too. Let's jump in with that. And let's see what uh, what stuff we can possibly spot. So like here we can remove a couple of nines. Uh, here's a hidden nine single and get that. Let's go back and double check eight, seven, six. Five. Uh, okay, there's a hidden three. 
Oh, hidden two, hidden two. This is a six because there's already one here and here. And uh, this is a one because we've already got ones eliminating that. So there's a one, nine. And then now let's start using some hints. So all right, four. Where's our, there's our naked four. Naked single seven, there it is. Hidden single nine, there it is. Hidden single eight, right here. And right here, and here. What else we got? Five. Oh, there it is right there. Um, lock candidates, fours. Right here, we can eliminate that. Okay, empty rectangles, I'm not good at these yet. I, I still gotta practice these, so. Um, just looking at this, I would be guessing. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe one of these cells here is included. Let's see what we get. Well, it's an elimination. <laughs> but yeah, finding empty rectangles is not my jam yet. I still gotta work on those. Um, notice also an empty rectangle came up in that puzzle, but we were not learning that. It was not part of what we actually selected to learn, but that's what's cool is you can end up having all these different varieties of puzzles where other techniques, other methods are going to pop up when you're not expecting. Now here's one that we were wanting to learn, X, Y, wing, 4, 5, so I'm going to go ahead and select 4. I'm going to find my... Uh, my four or five cells, I'm going to use highlighting, color highlighting. So that's another cool thing about Hadoku down here. I just select the color I want to use. Once I found my, my two, uh, what I call pivot cells, now I can select this XY to find where all the two cell candidate cells exist. So now um, what I'm seeing right off the bat here, let me turn off color filtering or color highlighting. Um, I'm seeing this 4, 5 is one of the pivot possibilities. I'm, here I'm seeing a 4, 6 and a 5, 6. So this basically forms a, a triple. Um, the Sudoku Cracking the Cryptic guys actually, I think, call this a bent triple. But this is an XY wing with 4, 5. So now what, what that means is this 4, 6 cell links to this with the 4s. And this 5, 6 cell links to this with the 5s. So now the 6s can be used to eliminate possible candidate so in in this case it would be here and I can test that without even guessing it right off the bat I can click the exclamation and it sure enough it shows me that's what the um, candidate elimination is so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the orange check to execute that now I can click this little R down at the bottom to remove the color highlighting and we can proceed so hidden single six there's the Two of those, there's a five. Um, okay, awesome, W wing, five, four. So the way I read this is remove a five while filtered on four. W wing, five, four. So remove a five while filtered on four. So I'm gonna filter on four. I'm gonna highlight my cells that are four, five. <clears throat> and now what I'm looking for is let me turn off highlighting. Now I'm looking for a, a set, basically a set of cells that will link to one of these sets of four or five. So I'm either going to go with like a pair like this, you know. And what I'm noticing right off the bat is, uh, let me highlight these. Let me, let's go with uh, purple. So these two cells stand out as linked cells with this 4545. Four, so now back to the rule, W wing 54. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove a 5 while filtered on 4. And this is kind of like a skyscraper, this W wing. What happens is you have these two cells that link your, uh, I guess, primary cells, the 4 or 5. And this kind of forms like a skyscraper in a way, and whatever these two cells can see is going to be eliminated as a possible candidate. So we're going to remove a 5 from this cell here. So if I check, 
sure enough, there it is. So I'm going to hit the orange check to execute that. I'm going to turn my color highlighting back off. And let's just continue on. Okay, skyscraper with the five. So we'll select five. And I'm seeing... I'm seeing these these two cells in this row and these two cells in this row and this would be the base so whatever these two cells see where a 5 exists can be eliminated so here I'm going to eliminate the 5 and we'll check and sure enough so I can make that a 1 now I'll turn off our highlighting again naked single 4 there it is what else do we got? One right there, right there. And now it looks like we've probably cracked the puzzle because now you can see we're just down to all these naked singles that are appearing. So yeah, I I would say we've got this puzzle knocked out. But it's cool because along the way we were learning or practicing some various techniques. So let's uh, let's go do one more, and this time let's let's change our learning. I just kind of did a more advanced one there just to show you guys, but let's let's turn off. Um, actually, let me leave those two on, and let's get rid of that. Get rid of those, get rid of those, because those are, we're going to come across those anyway, I'm sure. And let's get rid of those. Let's just stick with uniqueness now this time. We're, we're focusing on bug plus one and uniqueness test one. So let's go ahead and run through one more and see what we get here. So click new. And I have a feeling this is a bug plus one. Just looking, I'm seeing every single cell is a double except this one here. So let's see what our yep bug plus one so what I do when I'm in a situation where it's a bug plus one is I filter on XY to find all my double cells and then whatever cell is not a double that's going to be my cell where I need to unlock the whole puzzle alright sorry guys I had to pause the video for a moment someone was at the door <laughs> so alright let's let's see where we were okay so bug plus one so yeah this cell now, when I, I look at this one, I can, here, I'll turn off the filtering. What you, what you basically do in a bug plus one is you look at cells that relate to it. So here it's the 37, the 39, and then this cell here. And you say, okay, what number would I have to eliminate in order to essentially kind of make like um, polarity or a parity? keep your parity even across the board so um, you have two threes accounted for already with three seven and three nine and this individual seven and nine matched with these two gives you a pair so essentially we would remove a three from this cell if we wanted to have even parity there but now that we know that's what we would have to remove that's actually what we have to make the cell in order to make the whole entire grid parity work so if I double click that you can see it's now the whole puzzle is unlocked and we just roll through it so I won't click all of those we can see it's our it's already done so we would just start a new puzzle now but we'll, we'll call that good on this one and uh, I will try and get another video one that's actually going through specific techniques then that we'll focus on and uh, maybe I'll blast through like I don't know, three, five puzzles, and I'll just keep demonstrating some of these uh, techniques that I've been learning over the last couple of years, actually. So thanks again for tuning in, guys. And uh, again, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let other people know, and um, keep an eye out for more videos. I'll be back. Thanks.